Hey guys, welcome back, Redneck Garage guys. Got another quick video for you and another little how-to tip. And that is I'm tinting the front side windows on this Dodge Ram right here. And the reason why is the factory one comes tinted. The front windows are not tinted at all. So we're going with the 35% window tint to keep it legal up here where we're at in New England. And basically what happens is you can buy tint on a roll and I'm, I'm not a window tinter, so therefore I'm not real good at it. And I haven't done it in a while, so. Or you can buy it, and you have to cut it out yourself, or you can buy it pre-cut. And that's the, the route I chose to do. You can also get different grades and qualities. I went with the better quality 3M pre-cut. Because it saves a few steps, makes it a little easier for the guys that don't do it every day. And even still, I can tell you, it's not easy. This is the second time I've done this window. So, there you go. The other one was fine, came out good, but... This one here I had an issue. So I just wanted to go over something real quick and I really wasn't even aware of because I don't do it. Is the window has, it looks pretty flat and straight but has a really slight curvature to that. What happens is when you go to lay the tint on, if you didn't pre-shrink the tint or buy it pre-shrunk, you end up with these little, little fingers or ribs that come off the window here. And what happens is if you don't take care of those now, which is what I'm going to show you, when you go to lay the tint for permanent on the inside, those fingers keep coming back when the tint's drying, don't go away, looks like crap. So, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna spray the window down with our window solution, like my bottle. Basically all it is, is soapy water, mild soapy water, and by that I mean like a baby soap, a Johnson's baby soap or something like that. We just soak the window up in the surrounding area really good. And we're putting the tint, in order to do the pre-shrinking, we're putting the tint on the outside of the window. And the reason why, and I'll show you that, so I got my tint laying here, is it's all pre-cut. We just lay it on the window, we want to go up to the edge, over here, not on the edge, and not on the edge on the bottom. So you're up a little bit on the side and up a little bit on the bottom. Then what you do, is you grab your scraper, most people probably have a fancy one than me. They have kits for this to do it properly. And you just kind of squeegee out the water. Your solution, I should say. And there's different techniques to doing this. You'll see, as I'm doing this, we always push to the edge. You can do the perimeter, like I said, it's different techniques. It's kind of laying the tint flat. And what we're doing here is you're starting to see these fingers develop, like I was just talking about. In order to get rid of those fingers, we want to get as much of the water out as we can. And again, this is temporary. We're only laying this on here to pre-shrink the tint. So therefore, when we permanently lay it on the inside, we peel the backing off the tint. We're not going to run into this, I hope. Lesson learned is fingers, what they call fingers, these little bumps right here, you can only chase them to the edge of the tint vertically, up and down. You can't do it this way, it doesn't get rid of them. That's kind of why I'm doing this a second time. So I did a little more research, like I should have done the first time. And here we are, we're doing it again, we're laying it down. There's not much in the way of fingers for it, so we got a good lay down on it. But you watch, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the heat gun to it. Put a little bit of heat to the, to the window itself and you'll start to see the fingers form. So grab a heat gun. We just lightly, ah, three, four inches away, we're going to put the heat to it. We're going to give it a minute to heat up. And we should get a few fingers that pop up here. And what you do with the fingers, you make a liar out of me. Just now getting warm. All right, so here we are. It took a little longer than we thought for the finger to pop up, but there's one right there, what we were talking about. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat it, hit it with the heat gun. It isn't gonna take too long, and you're gonna see that finger start to zigzag. Just after, after it starts to zigzag, see that right there? The heat's shrinking the tin. You get that zigzag motion, 
you just kind of finger it down like that. You lay it down. And you see another one come up, little one. Right there, you chase it up a little bit, push it down. What that's doing is that's shrinking the tin. I'm just kind of going along with some light heat, try to get it to do it again. This window is fairly flat, so it doesn't have a lot. But if you get some windows that are really, really curving, you're gonna get a lot of these. And again, you gotta chase it to the edge, top and bottom of the room. Um, otherwise, it won't work. So that looks like, that was the gist of it. I wish I could have showed you a few more, but I'm not getting any more. So I guess that's a good thing for me. Um, but that's it. We're gonna go ahead with the install. Thank you.